Um, so, like, again, you often talk about having a yardstick. And um, yeah, in my opinion, like, you point it out to the atheists about that they have, like, an ever-changing yardstick. Therefore, yeah. they need to have a yardstick, uh, which is, you know, well, continuous. Uh, so you normally have that, but they don't want to, you know, focus on that. Yeah. Could you elaborate on this particular point and you, you know, you of the importance of having a yardstick? Hmm. Not a problem at all. You see, brother, whenever a claim is made, it begins from somewhere. Yeah. So the claim of the atheist, as an example, is that there is no God. Yeah. What have you based your evidence on? Now, whatever evidence they provide is going to be what we would consider collectively as natural evidence. In other words, everything is subject to natural causes. It is not subject to supernatural causes. Yeah? Yeah. But my start is, okay, wait a minute. What yardstick, what measuring rod have you used to establish what a creator may be or may not be? For you to, for you to dismiss something, yeah. you need to be able to tell me why you have dismissed it. But in order to do that, you would have to first agree with me what it is that we are trying to establish or dismiss. Yeah. Are you following? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So now, where Allah tells us in the Quran, there is one creator. There are no multiplicity of creators. The creator then goes on to tell us that the creator cannot be physically seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if the creator cannot be physically seen, how does this communication take place? The Quran tells us also that it says it is through either messengers behind a veil or through inspiration. Now it talks about what kind of inspiration also, even to the animals where it says the creator inspired the bees to do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. So again, the, what we call the measuring rod. Yeah. The Quran has given it to us. Yeah. In various forms. So you can actually discuss any issue using any one of those uh, pointers from the Quran. Now, if I were to say, like the atheist will tell me, there is no God. So I say, okay, uh, how have you come to this conclusion? Oh, there isn't any evidence. Okay. No problem. I have no problem with that. Can you now tell me what yardstick should we try and achieve in terms of the evidence? Are you following? Yeah. yeah. So for us to find what is known as relevant cogent evidence, we need to know what it is that the evidence is going to try and seek or to establish. So now you need to tell me what yardstick have you used for a creator for you to reject? And you know what? They cannot answer the question. So the Quran, in terms of what the yardstick is. Now, I'm using only one example. Surah 25, the other surah's name is Furqan, the criterion. Yeah. So it gives us the criteria wherewith to establish what may necessarily be true and what may not be true. Yeah. So, like I said, there are various pointers, and they are the Quran is replete with every subject matter we can consider, and you will see it will have a relevant yardstick to measure. Yeah. We are just touching on the atheism one. Yeah. And like I said earlier on, to be an atheist is to be a very unreasonable individual. Yeah. Now I'm not just making this statement because I feel like it. Yeah. You give me reasons. So yeah. There is a reason for it. Because when you look at the evidence, yeah, without those glasses, the evidence clearly points to a creator. Yeah. And this is what I say also to the Darwinists, just going back to what we said. Yeah. There's irrationality, there's unreasonability, there's Ill illogicality when it comes to being a uh, not an atheist and agnostic. Yeah. So the yardstick. I would suggest to all my Muslim brothers and sisters that whenever you enter into a conversation, the first thing you must do is lay the foundation. 
Yeah. Without the foundation, mm -hmm. it's pointless going somewhere else. You know, a very famous conversation took place between uh, a Christian brother and the late uh, Sheikh, uh, the late, no, uh, Dr. Gary Miller, a Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, 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 yeah they, this Christian tells mm -hmm. me, he says, you know what? I have an orange, I feel the orange, and then I eat the orange. Can you tell me how it tastes? He says, huh? <laughs> you will feel it, you will eat it, and you're asking me how it's going to taste. Yeah. This is, he says, you're being illogical. Now, the Christian was meaning that, look, until you taste the Holy Spirit, you ain't going to know what it is all about. But then that drew laughter, because it doesn't work like that, yeah? So, mm -hmm. it is very, very important to have the yardstick. That's the foundation. And wallahi, brother, I'm telling you now. And I, like I said, I know a lot of atheists who are friends. Yeah, we have a good banter. But I tell them on a serious note, you guys are totally unreasonable and you don't even realize it. No, 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 we are extremely reasonable. We want to look at the evidence, they say. I say, OK, let's start with the yardstick. Silence. Yeah. They just can't go beyond that. Because Let's whatever yardstick they use, you will be able to provide the necessary evidence for it. That's, but that's... you know what, Brother Suleiman? I also tell our brothers and sisters, turn the tables sometimes. Yeah. And tell them, ask any atheist, can you please definitely, definitively explain to me how life came about? You know, they are always accusing us of, you know, you are God of the gaps, God of the gaps, God of the gaps. Yeah. Actually, the greatest gaps are in their thinking processes, the atheists. And I say this not trying to offend them, genuinely. When it comes on an evidential plane, their thinking processes have got big holes in the narrative. Sorry, I had to put that one in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so it is, honestly. So the yardstick is ultimately the most important, inshallah. Yeah, mashallah, that's uh, wonderful. Um, 